Julie. Only five. Five that time, Maureen? Seven. Seven. What's your five, Julie? Snoop. Snoop. And seven? Goosing. Goosing. Goosing, Susie. Uh, yep, yeah, there are two Gs and goosing is prime. Goosing for... <laughs> yep. Yeah. Goose is there what, as a bird. What, what does it so actually it mean? To poke someone in the bottom. That's quite tame, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> to poke someone in the bottom. As simple as that. Yeah. yeah. Goosing. I thought that was rather more than that. Goosing <laughs> for seven. Yeah, a bit disappointing. We've got a seven, which yeah. is pigeons. Ah, oh, pigeons is good. Pigeons. Goosing a pigeon. Yeah, there's also pingos what? and pongos. Pingos? What's pingos that? Pingos and pongos. A pingo is a geological term for a dome-shaped mound, and a pongo is an RAF, RAF term for a soldier. Just six is It's an quite RAF? Long. Term for yeah, a soldier. For a soldier. Is that with an E? S. Yeah. Pongos. No, just O S. Pongos for pongos six. Pongos and pingos, just six. Yeah. Pingos and pongos. Okay, there we are. The score at the moment would be 19 to Maureen and six to Julie. Our champion leads at the moment, and uh, Julie, it's now your letters. Uh, vowel, please. E. And another. A. Consonant. H. Consonant. L. A vowel. U. A consonant. B. Consonant. R. Um, consonant. D. And a vowel, please. And E. Right, here starts the clock. Tricky one to me, but um, Julie? Um, six. Six. Maureen? Six. Six. What's Maureen six? Hurdle. Hurdle. And Julie? Header. Header, mm -hmm. as in football? Oh, yep. No. Or <laughs> something at the top of the page is a header. Or a header yep. at the top of the page, yeah. Right, let's go to Dictionary Corner and see what they've got uh, for this one, Susie. Uh, yes, yeah, Susie got two brilliant ones. Yeah, well, the first one is uh, a term from geology called, it's euhedral, E-U-H-E-D-R-A-L. Rather complicated definition, but it's not constrained by adjacent minerals, so I think you can see, basically you can see it in all its glory. Um, and then there's another one, which is just a little bit simpler. A blue head uh, is a type of fish, and it's a wrasse, um, which is a fish, I think, with very thick lips um, from the East Atlantic. Okay, uh, numbers time, if Carol's... Nearly there, almost ready <coughs> for you. And uh, Maureen, your numbers. One large and five small, please, Okay, Carol. thank you very much, Maureen. I'll go there, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the numbers girls are three and nine, seven and ten, six and your favourite number, 50, Julianne. <laughs> Nearly there. And a target of 819. 819. Julie, how'd you go? 819. Good, that's great. Maureen? 819. Okay, let's hear Julie's. Uh, 7 plus 3 plus 6. 7 plus 3 is 10, plus a 6 is 16. Times 50. Yeah. 800. And then 9 plus 10. Yeah, it's quite nice, this one. 819. Very good. Maureen? I did uh, 10 plus, plus 6 times the 50. 10 plus 6 times 50 mm -hmm. equals 800. Is 800. Plus the 9 plus the 7. Plus, Plus three. three. So you just made your 16 yeah. in a different way. Yeah, Very fine. good. Ten points each. Very good indeed. <laughs> Ten points each. So the score, 35 plays 22. Wide open game. And now it's time to hear from Mr. Keith Barrow. Um, yesterday afternoon we were talking briefly uh, after the rigours of bonfire night and all that that means as far as dogs, animals are concerned. We were talking about, you know, uh, dogs. Des said he liked to go to sleep with his, on his head. 
and uh, <laughs> we have a bagel, and he doesn't didn't like doesn't like fireworks. So just rather a little couple of things here uh, about dogs, which is he is your friend, your partner, your defender, your dog. You are his life, his love, his leader. He will be yours, faithful and true to the last beat of his heart. You owe it to him to be worthy of such devotion. Dogs are our link to paradise. They don't know evil or jealousy or discontent. To sit with a dog on a hillside on a glorious afternoon is to be back in Eden, where doing nothing was not boring, it was peace. And finally, every boy should have two things, a dog and a mother willing to let him have one. <laughs> Very good. Uh, and also, uh, thank you, I, I think that after recently all that terrible business about what people can do to animals, I think that is a tribute simply to animals. Thank you. Quite right, absolutely right. They, I like that, they know no evil, that's, that's beautiful yeah. isn't it? Yeah. They are very beautiful bits of stuff and yeah. entirely true, particularly if you have a dog, I think. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Keith. Thank you. It is time now for our tea time teaser, ladies and gentlemen. Time for you to play this at home. The word you will see is, well, it's a sort of word, phonigma, I suppose it would be. And the clue is feeling just great like a wonder horse. Feeling just great like a wonder horse. Phonigma became champion. Remember the clue, feeling just great, like a wonder horse, Carol. Yeah, easy champion one, the wonder horse. Pretty Keith easy got that in yes, a yes, microsecond. It's the first one I've ever got <laughs> in 119 <laughs> years. After I 100 think it's programs. my period. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming into your own at long last. I think so. The score's yeah. 35 plays 22, tight game here. And uh, Julie, it's now your letters. Uh, vowel, please, Carol. Thank you. I. And another. A. And a consonant R. And a consonant S. And another M. And a vowel E. A consonant N. A consonant R. And a vowel and O. Here we go. <coughs> I'll come to you first. Eight. Eight, good. Julie? Eight. Eight as well. Let's have yours first as the challenger. Uh, marinas. 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 Yeah, marinas. Marinas. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Very yes. good. Eight apiece. Uh, uh, any more? Yes, we had a seven, which applause. was um, Romanize. Oh, that's another eight, actually. Is that eight? Yeah. R-O-M-A-N-I-S-E. So if something's in italics in a text and you want to put it into normal text, you romanise it. Ah, right. Right, Maureen, it's, um, it's time for your letters. Consonant, please, Carol. D and another. T and another. R and another. M and a vowel, please. I and another. E and another. I and consonant. X and another vowel, please. Hmm. And O. It's clock time. 